Okay, today we're gonna talk about transition. You know, how you go from one video to another smoothly. Alright, so uh, let, let me pull up some video really quick. Say, add movie. Alright, I'm gonna use this. Alright. Let me let me just get rid of this uh, sound. We don't really need that right now. Okay, so say you have a video and you want to transition to the another one. You know, yeah, should I open another one? Nah, let's stick with this one. Okay, for that one, let's just cut this out. Alright, that two separate parts. Okay, so you know, this. I wanna this to this so what you do is you select this hold shift and then select this too right click on that now you have this both selected you go to add and then you go grammar cross now you know this is transit well actually it didn't transit it'll be good but you see this blur right here it's supposed to transit over but because it's the same video i guess you can't really see the difference you know what let me let me move over yeah all right let me cut this part out all right now it's two different video it look no. anyway now you want transit over you hold this Hold shift, select this, and then grammar cross. Alright, from right here, you notice it's transit over here. Alright, there you go, you, you can see the difference. Uh, some people like to blend the video, which you can play around with that. You know, like music videos, they go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, you could do just the same. So, say for example, you go here. You see how you see how you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You just need to uh, I'll go up a little bit. You just need to animate this by into a keyframe here by pressing I. You can just go back and forth. You, some people can even stay here like this. You know do the video you, see? you can see you see, you see it right wow uh, what grammar cross does it just apply the transition it don't really it, it save you the time from you know into a key point you see here's another thing that uh, there's another way that I always use in case I'm not doing a simple transition like this a bar over a bar let's just say I happen to make a changes on this bar changes such as you know you go to transform and you hide that and you go over here right normally like like what we just did earlier you highlight this and then you hold shift and then you highlight this or, or let's just say this, but this is the main one because this is hidden. Let's just say you press this, you hold shift and you highlight this, you got both highlighted and then you add a grammar cross. Huh? It actually let you this time. Oh, okay, that's cool. Because before it didn't let me. I'm not sure because they updated this, but before they didn't let me, what I did was uh I start at this point why right? I make sure this is alpha over and then um, on this point I press pretty much it's, it's all right here I enter a keyframe so this means it's being visible and this means not visible okay so it's not visible and I enter a keyframe here and then I get to the end right here 
I make this not visible, and I make this visible, and I enter a keyframe that. So that animate this part right here. See, it's just the same, same thing. But you know, before it didn't let me. I I'm really impressed that they fixed this part. Cause before, when I make so many changes, I couldn't make a grammar cross on this area here. Now I guess they let you do that. That's good. So, uh, I guess I don't have to explain more about that. But yeah, so you can do the transition like that. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I don't, I don't think I'm missing anything. All right, so. I see you guys next time.